Um, I, sorry, do you want to do that again? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> What's one thing you can't live without in your dressing room? Oh. Probably my score. Sweets. Coffee. <laughs> Do you prefer singing operas in English or a foreign language? Depends on the opera. Do you prefer performing in costume or black tie? Depends on the setting. <laughs> <laughs> What's your current phone's lock screen picture? It is my dog, my beautiful puppy back in Australia. It's the logo of Inter Milan Football Club. My girlfriend. Uh, the, some of the standard choices of the Apple phones. <laughs> The year ahead. Oh my gosh. Um, what I'm most excited for this year would be probably supervising a show. I've never done it before. I just like either bringing stuff from the past to life or bringing stuff on stage. It just adds so much depth to a performance. Tritico. I absolutely cannot wait for Tritico. Because I adore Puccini's music. I just can't wait to see the productions and start properly working on it. Doing Puccini is always just so much fun. I'm just smiling thinking about it now. But I'm sure also the highlights that we just did will also be, a, you know, a, a memory for a lifetime. I'm really excited for Carmen that all four of us are going to be in the show. I think that will be really fun. A new production, doing a role that I wanted to do for a really long time, Fresquita. That is an opera that I saw when I was very young, kind of intent on maybe doing one day. It's like, I'd, I'd love to be part of that show. Like, it's so cool. I love working with people who are like-minded and do the same things because it's so much more exciting. I've always wanted to, um, to be an emerging artist at Scottish Opera. It's my home company. It's right in that sweet spot between education and being a professional. You get to be involved with the highlights tour, you get to be involved with the operas, you get to do recitals, you get to have coachings, you get to do this, you get to do that. It's a really hands-on way of, of really learning the job. It's like not training wheels, it's more of like an encouraged kind of solo bike ride. <laughs> Already I feel as if not only have I grown as a young artist, but also I come away from all that and I feel ready to take on a new challenge. It's, it's very exciting. I can't wait.